Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is another free tutorial and full of information. This might help people that are looking for training uh, or maybe they want to get started with Office 365. So today my tutorial is about Office 365 and you are basically a brand new person or maybe you are an IT person you're um, in the admin side of IT or you are a Office 365 administrator you are actually you're looking into going into that side and you want to start somewhere and then you're looking online is there any information available online that you can start from somewhere and then you can move ahead so this tutorial is about how to get started now this tutorial is going to be just giving information so it's not to show you guys skills so I'm telling you this in advance for people who are watching this video there's nothing um, me doing it it's just information available out there and I'm trying to share it and that's the main part of the tutorials that we try to share things but then we also create courses and that becomes like a big skills and uh, advanced skills sharing through the courses this is not a course this is just a tutorial um, information tutorial so to get to this tutorial that I'm making right now you can easily go to con um, the search section and just type Microsoft 365 or full learning center search it and this tutorial will also be available uh, over here if you do that and this is going to be the video is going to be uploaded here on Office 365 learning center tutorial and anything that basically I add more and more to Office 365 I'm going to come here and, uh, and update this uh, tutorial section so you guys can comment rate it uh, whatever you guys want to do with it so you're new you're a brand new person and you want to know about Office 365 because it's such a hot thing these days is all of these um, mid-sized companies even the education uh, area they're all going towards Microsoft Office 365 and now there's a need uh, for even um, technicians uh, even full-time jobs just to do Office 365 stuff so for my suggestion to anyone uh, new in IT uh, this is something you want to put on your resume you know go for it this is actually going to help you get a job so I'm going to get started with something real uh, before I start even talking about Microsoft uh, uh, 365 uh, I'm actually going to um, indeed.com right now you guys might not see my screen but that's what I typed um, and let me just make sure if I can break it down yeah there you go so indeed.com right there and I just wanted to show you guys like you know if I just type Microsoft Office 365 and just enter and I live in Maryland DC Virginia area there's a lot of IT jobs in here but just by entering that look at this one day ago there's an associate office 365 engineer so what does that tell you that means there's there are jobs available um, just by learning office 365 you guys can do that office 365 support specialist let's click on that and see what they're asking for as you can see right here it basically it's a little bit more like you can see like when you say tier 2 level then you you got to be a little bit experienced with this stuff but my main goal is to tell you guys that there there is a need um, a, a very hot demand out there even if you just type um, help this in, in here or maybe um, some other IT um, skill uh, in here right now uh, almost every uh, requirement will put Microsoft Office 365 as a requirement so this is why I just came here and kind of give you guys an idea of uh, why this is so important for you guys to um, think about uh, learning Office 365 um, because there's definitely uh, something out there and these are just days as you guys can see hours that people are putting out jobs in there and even system administrator when I put that link that means this system administrator has a requirement to learn Office 365 or maybe they, they're asking for it. as you can see desired skill Office 365 administration so that tells you right there that something is changing the other way to check is that if you just go to dual.com and just type edu uh, office 365 just type that and when you type that in, in you know you'll start getting to see 
all these universities are using Office 365. Just look at that. GMU, Office 365, different university, Office 365. What does that tell you? That tells you that there are people, I mean, organizations, um, education area, anywhere that you go, um, they're adapting this technology. I'm not debating how good or how bad or whatever, but it's a reality right here that people are using it and now the jobs requirement in HR department they're gonna get this from their IT managers that we are looking for people that have these skills and so that's why I'm focusing and I'm talking about it that you guys should get this idea that um, don't hold yourself back and just start learning A plus I know A plus is important for everybody yes do that get a certification but this other certification that they a lot of people are not mentioning right now um, you only see it when you apply for a job and then they ask you, oh, do you know anything about Office 365? And then you're like, mm, you don't know. So that kind of makes your look a little bit, you know, uh, you won't get too many chances in front of someone that has these skills, okay? So that's why I am creating this video to get you guys started. So now you guys know why I'm doing this video. We will go back to our Google search and just type this link right here, Office 365 Learning Center okay they made it pretty cool because when I started learning about Office 365 they didn't have this type of page and it was really hard it was just links and everything and I didn't like it it was so confusing so now they made it kinda cool you know so the first link right here Office 365 learning support Office Online click on that and it will take you to this link and that says Office 365 learning center for business and education it's important because there is a business side of Office 365 and there is a home uh, type of Office 365 like OneDrive home and there is a OneDrive for business so you want to learn about business if you are in IT and you are advancing your career um, by starting this thing is so simple they made it that way so that people can understand it easily so what it tells you right here get started with Office 365 is a sign in page so let's click on that and it shows your video right here so it's pretty important for you guys to go through these um, and don't get lost with other links go back and try to first learn the page first don't just jump around that's where you will get confused and then you can just come back to step two set up your apps so sign in page is something that Microsoft provide you okay so if you click on this page right here it tell you how to sign in from the scratch right here most of the companies they will be using office.com portal.office.com and this is something Microsoft provides you. So let's say, for example, if I just open up another page, let's say this one, and I just type portal.office.com. And if I type portal.office.com, it takes me to their front home page. And here you will put your company name xyz at abc.com. You'll put the password in here, and then it will take you to your home page. But this, most of the companies, most of the um, Office 365 pages are going to look the same way because it's the same cloud-based system meaning that Microsoft is giving providing you all of the services all you have to do is to log into your um, uh, your part which Microsoft provided to you you log into that section or server that they have given to um, assigned to your company and then um, you start from there the easy way to kind of like I know it's in the beginning it's a little confusing even if you go to that page for example we were on this page right here and let's go back here so in the beginning it's confusing you you must be thinking to yourself right now that um, okay so how how did even before this how do even I get to this part right here like you know they, they give you this sign in page but what's out there like how do I know what type of plan am I using you know like phone you basically buy a phone for your family and then you search for plans right you you buy those plans and then you start talking and everything somebody provided that information so you gotta do the same thing with Microsoft also so if you go to google.com and just type office 365 plans just type that and click on the first link compare all 365 for business plan let's click on that and then what's gonna happen you'll see a big page that has everything pretty nice and smooth for you and then it tells you if it's a business essential it's a small business premium business uh, it's an enterprise level big enterprise then it tells you what can you do with it there's a limitation 
two things like okay so let's say you're IT technician and you have a business and you have 350 users and then you you haven't gone through this and you haven't done your homework and you have now ran out of this license and then and they say okay there's no more license available and you're like oh what happened there so that's something that you need to learn about you know and especially in interview and stuff like that that somebody can question this kind of stuff um, if you if they're asking or testing your office skills then they might ask you about plans you know okay so let tell us about this plan like you know so what happened do we go ahead or go down stuff like that so the best way for me is you know how I learned it I kind of get my head um, and start learning this whole office 365 which was pretty new to me at some point um, then I came to this page and that's uh, looking for prices and stuff like that like plans and everything and then I go through so then you basically go through see okay so they got this piece right here five PCs on Mac because this is one of the questions that people will ask you your users that um, so I, I'm, I'm getting an office 2013 uh, with this so how many computers can I install this on what the, what about licenses so if you have this information it's pretty easy that you just tell them oh you just you have five computers or five devices up to five devices you can use this then you start learning about these old features that they provide like one online version of office and you're like okay what is that uh, then you you know slowly slowly you're getting your head into it and like you, you can go all through it not every feature will be used by a company but there are some some features that are pretty much uh, heavy heavily used and now going to be OneDrive online services like word online editing stuff like that um, uh, SharePoint services those are the features that are going to be pretty much um, in heavy use and they are actually coming with new and new features since it's a cloud based and they add those features either you if you have either you have to buy it or something but they will put that information out there but that's the easy way to start finding about Office 365 and remember this video is for someone who is just starting so that's why I'm talking a lot about plans to get started first like you know get to know this whole uh, idea of Office 365 for what it is like you know so that's where you can get started here that's the easy way then you can basically go back to your page again and go through these steps and this is pretty much uh, a nice step uh, pages for uh, also for users because sometimes users will ask you um, is there any training available for Office 365 and you guys can actually use these kind of pages for your own training so you can make your own training and then you can use these pages inside like you know combine that with your training and then present it to a user so that now you have something graphical very nice uh, uh, pages out there so you guys can work on that um, so that's the first uh, part you guys can go through all this um, because I'm just doing a tutorial so that's why I want you guys to come over here and learn about it and then you guys can learn more about office here but I'm gonna quickly get take you guys to a different training right here which is this page right here because I want you guys once you go through this page and there's like not more there's not a lot of information out there that like okay this is just pages uh, I, I want to see some training out there now so you will click on office training and tutorial right here and that's this will take you to uh, this section right here now if you scroll down what I want you guys to see is actually not in this one free minutes webinar uh, what I want you guys to check is the MVA training so that's available let's do office 365 training here there you go so if you guys click on the business training and scroll down this is just a normal training some small videos and stuff but if you guys scroll down right here MVA office 365 fundamentals and then you can go all the way up if you click on the click on that it will take you to Microsoft Virtual Academy which I kinda um, first I did a tutorial on this one too this is an awesome site for Microsoft if you're that guy that your company has 90 percent of Microsoft stuff then you wanna be on this site because that's going to um, teach you a lot of stuff and then you guys can see right here that's that's just the beginning of my office 365 for you guys fundamental look at the the rating over here um, and then you guys can just go ahead and ahead like you know click on the courses here and then type Microsoft Office 365 for IT pros now you're getting some other cool stuff that you need to get in I mean 
learn about PowerShell using uh, with Microsoft Office 365 they have available right here so it's a lot of courses right here uh, so this is why I was making this video to so get you guys started somewhere I know some of, some of you might be stuck somewhere and I was thinking come on the computer type Google maybe go to YouTube something like that and but then you always like you know get discouraged by not providing not getting a lot of information step by step inf information so this is the idea of this video is to the, I gave you guys now step by step um, from where to start you started from the plans that page that we just showed you then you went to that little page with the tutorial and stuff so now you get your hands looking around the videos now you want a real course you came to MVA now through that page now you started a course and when you finish your course that's where you get what nice thing about MVA is it give you like you know a nice accomplishment um, uh, like you know a, a text out there and you get, can use that link on your resume now so now what, what did you do you basically will come back to indeed again okay and here you will see something entry level type job you know okay we were looking for someone who knows a little bit about 365 sometimes even internship sometimes even people will put that you know training is available um, all, all they need is your commitment so now when you have that and you have the MVA and the whole education behind you and you think you're ready you start applying you know there's no uh, seriously um, no no harm in that just apply people like I said people who are looking for interns and entry-level positions they will give you a try so now you have a lot to talk about so you can just go and talk talk show them your skills and then you have something you know you next day you may be looking getting a call from someone and getting a job I know it's not that easy but you have to try so uh, hopefully this little small tutorial uh, gave you a little bit confidence and uh, showed you exactly what it can do for you uh, this information so um, hopefully some will use it and again like I said we have our full platform that has courses right here we have full courses um, if you go to jobskillshare.org click on login it will take you to this site which has helped us support specialists entry level if you want to be that specialist if you want to do um, let's say for example Microsoft Office servers Active Directory every single thing and you want to be that IT person then you want to be on this site register yourself it's a free course go ahead take it take Active Directory take network administration and hopefully we will be adding Office 365 support specialist course which we will go from basic to very advanced stuff to become an office specialist only so see you guys in a different video thank you for watching this is jobskillshare.org